Welcome back, everyone. 8.23 is the time right now. Bougie on a budget. <laughs> There's a way to wear the latest trends without having to pay full price. And that's also resale. So Jamie visited poor little rich girl in Jamie's local love a few weeks back, and she's got a look. It turns out we love to shop. When you think of pandemic-proof businesses, Kat never knew that she would be in this situation. In fact, it was a recession that sparked you to open Poor Little Rich Girl. It's right around the corner from the station. We're good friends. Yes. We love shopping here. It's very but nice of you to come see us. <laughs> Tell me about why you started this in the first place and what it's been like in the recession. You know, um, so back when the recession hit in around 2008, we were in real estate, and so I was looking for something recession-proof and opened the store on 7th Street, and that, was, that ended up being a really great thing. Um, we had no idea the pandemic would be in our future and it would be something else to be kind of battling through and, and you know, it's, it's just been another challenge, but it was actually really great to see all the support from the community and to kind of pivot when things needed to change and it all worked out. I know I spent a lot of time looking at your Instagram and shopping from the gram. A lot of people did that too. Yeah, we really um, adjusted kind of our business model all the way through the pandemic and we did curbside pickup and we started selling a lot online and shipping and we still let, like meet people outside with their items if they don't feel comfortable coming in. Um, and we've just tried to meet people wherever they are throughout this and change whenever we need to to make sure everyone feels comfortable. You are a locally owned boutique. Um, and when we buy things here, we are buying both old and new? Yes, we have um, new items that we consider to be part of our boutique side of the store, and then we also have resale items that we buy from people directly. Um, so you come up to the counter and we offer you either cash or trade for your items. Um, we generally are looking for items that were purchased new within about the last year and a half, and we do really well with labels like Free People, Anthropology, Madewell, uh, Revolve labels, um, Nordstrom labels, things like that. So those are labels that I love. They're also labels that I'm not usually willing to pay full price for. <laughs> so that's why I come here. How much fun has it been running a business like this? What, what, what has been a high for you here? You know, we really love being a part of the community here. We have such a strong group of people that come in and have just been so supportive of our business. And it's, le it's just been really great catching up with them and getting to see them again. Um, and, you know, I think a lot of people have been through a lot in the last couple of years, and it's really nice to be able to kind of touch base with everyone and see them again. And so just being a part of the community has really been the best part. Yeah. And, and seeing each other once again, shopping once again, giving each other a little squeeze and a hello is fun too. So Cat uh, loves supporting local as well. So we've got some local makers here. When I see you again in the next hour, we're going to talk about some of the new things that are here. Also, uh, I know you're thinking about your closet right now. It's kind of stuff full of maybe some gems that Kat could sell here and then you can get something new. So we're gonna talk about that at Poor Little Rich Girl coming up in the next hour.